Hello everyone, it's Hillary of Creative Faith and today I'm back with another Bible journaling for the non-artistic video. I have a whole playlist which I'll put in the link a link in the description box below for you to check out with um, tools and supplies and things you can use for Bible journaling if you feel like you're not super artistic because that should never stop you from spending time with the Lord. And so the technique today we are using is napkins. Now learn from my mistake. <laughs> I have not used this technique in a while and I was silly and put the gesso down before I had prepped the napkin and then the gesso dried and I had to put more down. <laughs> so always Always prep your napkins first and how you do that is you take it take the napkin and you're gonna peel apart the layers so all napkins um, have at least one or two layers behind the colored piece on top to make it thick for when you're actually using it for a napkin so you need to peel carefully peel those parts off and so I forgot to do that first but um, so that's one mistake <laughs> that I did on this page but this napkin I got at a Bible journaler, journaling retreat I went to in Savannah, Georgia and with Sweet and Sassy stamps and I'll put a link in the description below to a video that I walked through um, pictures and I did little clips of what the retreat was like but one of the things we did was a crafty swap and so people put together little packages of supplies and things that they either made or brought to bless people with and so one person gave napkins and as soon as I saw this one I immediately thought of communion and I think it actually has wine and cheese on it <laughs> but I thought of it as the wine and the bread and so you'll see here I have to, I'm adding the other layer of gesso but anyway so I was thinking about communion as soon as I saw this and I could never paint this scene. <laughs> I enjoy painting, but this scene on this napkin is really beautiful and kind of intricate. But this way, I don't need to have the artistic skills to paint it because I already have it on the napkin. And so I'm just laying the napkin on top of the clear gesso. I'll put a link below to my favorite gesso that I got, um, the one here you see on the screen. And so I used the a gift, old gift card to put it down on the bottom. And then I'm putting, um, just using my finger because I have more control that way over the top for the sealant layer and this is just like I said a really easy way there's a lot of beautiful napkins another lady at the retreat had a horse napkin and I'm like I could never draw a horse but wow using the napkin looks really beautiful I have some that have um, a cactus on them or a beautiful floral and so using napkins is a great way if you don't feel like you're super artistic to have beautiful artwork in your bible and just beautiful images to um, show more about what the bible is teaching us. So I am in the book of Luke, at the end of the book of Luke, when Jesus is giving the Last Supper to his disciples. And this is just a wonderful scene of fellowship around the table and Jesus foretelling what will happen to him on the cross. And one of the things that I really noticed as I was reading this scripture is that before he passed out the bread and the wine, he gave thanks and I just thought that was really powerful <laughs> that before he was going to do, you know, dying on the cross, he was giving thanks to the Lord and I just thought about how we should do the same. We should be thanking God even before and during really challenging times and so I am using this beautiful alphabet stamp that I purchased when I was at the retreat. It is a script alphabet by Rebecca Rios and I was really in a big debate about what stamp to you or to purchase what alphabet stamp I wanted to buy one alpha stamp and I am so glad I purchased this one you guys oh I am in love I'll put a link in the description box below to this um the stamp set if you guys want to check it out but you can connect the letters and so it looks like it's your own calligraphy in the Bible and that is just gorgeous. So in the video I only show 
give <laughs> because it was taking me a long time to clean them and arrange them and set them out. But I ended up writing give thanks. And I just wanted to remember that um, when we are taking communion or in good or challenging times that I need to remember to give thanks to the Lord for he is good. His love endures forever. He loved us so much that he sent Jesus to die on the cross for us. And that is wonderful to remember. So, um, be sure to subscribe to the Creative Faith YouTube channel and give this video a thumbs up and share it with a friend. Hope you guys were inspired. Bye.